Some crimes are so inherently dangerous that it seems highly likely that someone will get injured or even killed as a consequence. Whether to deter unwanted behavior or help ensure punishment, the federal government and nearly all U.S. states have felony murder statutes. In State v. Sims, we'll explore whether accidental killings can meet the requirements for felony murder. Late at night, Paul Sims and Arthur Burns approached the Schmitz family home while armed with a shotgun and a pistol, respectively. Burns broke in through Oscar Schmidt and his wife's bedroom window as Sims pointed his flashlight and shotgun into the room from the porch. As this occurred, the Schmidt's son, Walter, suddenly entered the bedroom. Oscar seized Burns's gun and shot Sims in the arm. Sims claimed this caused his arm to involuntarily spasm and pull the trigger, killing Walter. Sims was charged with first-degree murder in a West Virginia state trial court. Sims's treating neurologist expressed the opinion that, based on his examination and expert knowledge, the bullet wound caused an involuntary muscle reflex that resulted in the shotgun's discharge. His statements were read into evidence at trial. Before the trial, the trial court determined that an accidental or involuntary discharge of a weapon while committing a felony wouldn't permit a jury to reduce the crime below the first-degree murder verdict required under the state's felony murder rule. Sims was counseled by his attorney that under West Virginia's law, unintentional killing wasn't a defense to felony murder. Sims subsequently pled guilty to the murder charge. Sims appealed to the West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals.